Hi everyone, it's Chris Tuck here from survivorsofabuse.org.uk but also West Wickham Health and Fitness. Um, just wanted to share with you really the reality of being a business owner, um, of being part of the VSCP for the Independent Inquiry into Child Sexual Abuse and also being a victim survivor um, we've lived experiences going through the criminal justice system for the last five years and just dealing with the impact of all of this what do i mean by all of this um i have a business a fitness business where i have to turn up and be the life and soul a happy face you know, be there for everybody um, and just clients that come to class do not want to see you being miserable, you being, uh, having problems, having issues. And I really try my hardest not to let any of my issues impact a client's, a member's experience. But, you know, we are all human beings and at the end of the day, we all have tough times and there's impact from that. And for me, being a survivor of childhood abuse in all its forms and neglect, and as I said, going through the criminal justice system for the last five years, it's been re-triggering, it's been re-traumatising and I have been there for so many people over so many years and now... I'm finding it really difficult to be there for other people when I need to actually be there for myself. And going through EMDR over the last eight weeks, where I've had one really horrific reaction, bodily reaction to past lived experiences and trauma, it has really... It was a release, but also it was really hard for me to carry on being this happy, bubbly persona um, and be there for other people when they're going through really tough times themselves. And for me, I am able to put on one mask, turn up, do what I need to do be on social media, promote my classes, show everybody exactly, you know, how to achieve good mental health and good physical health. And I live by that. I stand by that. That is my saving grace. Um, and I'm really passionate about it. Um, eating well, being able to sleep well with complex PTSD brings its own um challenges shall we say i have episodes of really good sleep but then i have also have episodes where i'm a complete insomniac i get woken up because of hypervigilance all of those sort of issues that people don't actually realize unless they've gone through it themselves and are dealing and living with um the impact of trauma complex ptsd depression anxiety um i've got all of that and at the end of the day, that is going to be with me for life. Um, but the EMDR, what it's doing for me is taking away some of that real deep rooted, strong emotion, like the intense anger that I'm feeling and that I've, you know, compressed down deep. Um, and also the, the loss, the sadness, the bereavement of so many things um i'm still trying to get in tune with all of this and i'm trying to learn from it and i'm trying to pass on that learning because to me that is where i feel that i add value and insight by bringing all of this out into the open into the domain of you know other individuals that are going through something similar but can't verbalize it so i think there's real added value in me showing up as authentic and sharing exactly what's going on for me so i am very adept at putting on a mask taking it off and then putting on another one and i am only vulnerable 
in my own home. I will only or in front of my new therapist. Most people will not get to see this vulnerability because being vulnerable, there is a fear there of being hurt or harmed or abused all over again. So it's really important that if you do feel the same as me, that you have safe people around you where you can, who you trust and you can truly be um, your authentic self and you can really share those deep, that deep stuff that's going on for you so that it's not used against you. Um, at the moment, my physical symptoms is a tight throat, shoulders, neck, all really really tight and tense no matter how mass, much massage I have or how much breathing I do it is chronically it's just there at the moment um, but I've just spoken to my therapist and we're going to be dealing with some of the stuff that I feel is causing all of this at the moment so we're going to be dealing with that hopefully next week and the few weeks after that but it's really important that if you're going through therapy or going through a hard time, that you are kind to yourself, that you give yourself time to process what is going on for you and just give your time, yourself time to just be. Um, and I'm learning that. I'm having to do that for myself. So what is my message to you? Well, just giving you insight, sharing the the truth about going through this kind of stuff and dealing with trauma and dealing with the physical impact of the mental um, stuff that you're going through. So it's about releasing in a safe way. Um, so today, just to share a day in my life, I've taught three classes, I've helped members with their health and their wellness, I've spoken to victim and survivors i've given advice to people who have had disclosures made to them i've been on a a, a fitness business mentoring um hour call i've been on a webinar talking about online harms to children um yeah and now i'm going to go home and i've got a trustees meeting for my charity so what I'm saying is that we can be going through mental and physical impact of trauma, but at the same time, we can be cognitive and functioning and dealing with so many different things, juggling the balls, turning up and being there for other people. So just because you're a victim and survivor, it doesn't mean that your life stops. It doesn't mean you can't do things. It doesn't mean you can't achieve. But at the same time, you need to be able to have the space to deal with your own stuff and have people around you to support you. And that is what I've got to work on, is allowing people to come in and be supported be supportive of me when I'm at my most vulnerable so with that guys I hope that you have heard something that resonates with you that you may need to work on yourselves or that you may need to just you know go you know what at this moment in time I am going to just choose to work on myself or I'm going to do something that's enjoyable or take some time out um, yeah, and make sure you reach out and get the support and help that you do need. So at the moment for me, it is my counsellor that is helping me work through some of this stuff that I've got going on in my brain and in my body. So have a good day, everyone. Hopefully I will see you on another live um, health and wellness, maybe, or another insight video. Okay, so take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye for now.